Hey guys, I'm Janice Vacation, and today I've well, I've just I've just had breakfast, so um, stomach's no longer rumbling. Um, I had cornflakes because it's like corn, because corn sounds like corn. Also, it was quite easy because like the, 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 the cereal, cereal's real easy, and it's breakfast. Like there's nothing, but like also like corn. Thought I'd say that. Please subscribe. So anyway, we have uh, a battle to do. I know. What's the point? Well, that's the point. If you look, we'll we'll lose our chaos spawn. I was going to replace them anyway, but like we kind of need to be on dry land before we do that. I can't afford to lose an entire unit to an auto resolve. I now have the hiccups. I can't afford to lose an entire unit to auto resolve just because you know we, we're out in the sea and and we're. We're dying, right? It's just bad. I can't afford it. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to fight him. Get it? Because it sounds like corn. Anyway, let's fight these guys, shall we? I suppose you could be in two groups. Alright, let's throw you in. I don't see this being a problem. Uh, do I want to run you in a little sooner? Maybe? It would be really nice, actually, with this army, is if we had the, um... God, what the hell are they called? The, the guys. Them guys, you know. The twins. The magic twins. Blue scribes. If we had the blue scribes, we'd be laughing. Because we could get some healing. You know? How great would that be? I also have a purple sun just in the middle. See what happens. Right, come on. Get stuck in, yeah? Oh, wow. Okay, that great goblin shaman just got completely rolled over by those chaos knights. He barely lasted a second. All right, I need to deal with these jerks, don't I? Uh, treason of Tinch. On that pile, hopefully they'll break nice and quickly. All right, he's not going to die. We can fall back this way, can't we? Uh, I don't think they're going to last. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure the sneaky skulkers weren't going to... We weren't going to get a bunch of their armor piercing in. They're very cheeky like that. I think we got them out, didn't we? Yeah, nasty skulk. I said sneaky skulk, isn't it? They are sneaky, don't they? They are sneaky. That is that is true. That is accurate. But yeah, we got the little sods. Alright. Gonna speed things up. Okay. Knights can keep knighting. Knight style. I want to kill as many as I can. Alright, pretty good. Alright. That'll do. Okay, so we got money and souls. Let's get some more money and souls. And good, we did sink them. I wasn't sure if I was going to sink them or not, which is why I chased them down a bit. Uh, so, Skipper. Sure. Kill Bartog. Oh my god, that is insane. I thought that it wasn't showing his movement because I couldn't see the line because he can move that far that I thought it wasn't showing it. It's amazing. So, Oleg the Everchosen. Uh, I kind of want treasure, but he means doing another battle when we are at sea, suffering horrible attrition. I'm still going to do it, though. You receive word of a wooden carcass of a ship that has been discovered strewn across a small, mysterious island. You are told that beyond the beach, gold and other trinkets can be found in abundance, surrounded by the long-dead crewmen who starved whilst waiting to be rescued. Some of your, your own crew whisper of curses, which may be worth heeding, but such things rarely deter you when looted wealth and riches are involved. Explore the island. This is obviously a worthwhile salvage mission, regardless of any silly curses. And here we go. Okay, that's uh, nothing. 
really, but I still kind of feel like maybe I need to fight it. Because auto-resolve is the worst. I gotta auto-resolve. 49 men? Are you kidding me? I haven't lost that many men in a turn, thanks to attrition. Alright, so what do we get? Just favour. Before you can set foot on the island, you are set upon by a vampire admiral who had arrived there just before you, and who was bolstering his forces with the reanimated corpses of the dead crewmen rotting on the beaches. After defeating the undead freebooters, you looted the vampire's moored galleon before claiming all the salvage on the island for yourself. Alright, now where am I going? Uh, so I won't have attrition over here, of course. Uh, I kind of want to grab that treasure too. Like, while I'm in the sea, you know, I may as well plunder it for all it's worth. Um, let's get you... We have Arcane Conduit, so yeah, let's just start heading towards uh, Deadly Onslaught. Prince Ograx. It really doesn't matter what he gets. Be indomitable, I suppose. Uh, Glean Magic. We just need Pink Fire of Zinch leveled up again, and then we've got all of the magic. Uh, do I need Missile Resist? For Harold? Probably not. Do I need training? Again, probably not, but I'm going to get it. Uh, still only rank 6, those halberds. Crazy. Crazy days. Alright, what else we got? Varitas Soul Thief has already moved. Uh, Farmort can actually go a lot f No, he can't. So that's showing his um, extended move. Fine. And this guy's trying to catch up for dear life. An echo troll tooth has already moved too. I think that means we're at the end of the turn, are we? Well, I can move these two down. Uh, so it looks like this faction is still alive for now, but I don't see. Oh my god! A discordant song. Modrin are here too. There's a ludicrous amount of elves heading down here. Though it looks like Scarbrand might have taken out a couple. I think he might have taken out a couple. That's interesting. Good for you, mate. Good for you. Alright, let's head down this way. Uh, and... Uh, with some more upgrades, I suppose. Um, couple more turns, we get to tier 5 on this one. Nice. I mean, I guess it is the third place we took. So that is, um, in keeping. Uh, we can get this to tier 5 already. I don't know why. But we can. So I will bolster that too. Our income really has taken a hit lately, hasn't it? It really has. Probably something to do with this additional army that's costing us four grand. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, moving on. Unbelievers resist. You can't resist. The uncorrupted slaves in Bren's region are resisting. Well, how dare they? What do I pay these slaves for? They refuse to submit to the Dark Gods. Punishment must be swift. Delegate the deed. Let the vassal handle it. This is a minor inconvenience and that they can deal with. Yeah, let's get, um... Ivuldir Staheim. Or something. Let's give him some extra stuff. Uh, the, uh, Zaryov Screener. The, the Zaryovs off Screener. They're not on screen when they died. That's what that's telling us. And the Brother of the Bear destroyed Slayer of Souls, our, our good friends. We definitely destroyed their empire, didn't we? Yeah. Also, yeah. These dwarves. So. Kind of everywhere. And these guys are still going. Interesting. Interesting. I thought they were dead. So they are at war, right? No, they're firm, firm friends. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Because these are the order tide, they don't just attack everybody. Which, you know, obviously, right? Obviously. Okay, let's get over here. It's going to be interesting. Magic versus dwarfs. You know, it's obviously a bit of a disadvantage. Though, uh, one big change. Uh, magic damage doesn't count as magic anymore. It only gives you, uh, like, benefits. In Warhammer 2 and Warhammer 1, magic damage used to negate physical resistance, but also magic resistance would negate damage from magical attacks, as well as spells, you know, as well as actual magic. Now it doesn't. Now there's spell resistance and... Uh, I don't think there's magic resistance at all, but it's spell resistance and then magic attacks. 
so it, it's it's different. So that's good, or else uh, Tsinch would just have a real rough time fighting dwarves. Though to be fair, that does feel like they should, so, you know. Uh, I'll need to move our hero as well. <laughs> I thought you said they were in Kazid Stovkarag. I don't see him. That's what it sounds like. Don't know why. This is a dwarf under there. He's a very tall dwarf. The world's tallest dwarf. Right. Garrulus Elgi Muncher. Oh, hello. Hi. I think not. I'm going to munch you. For the dark I think master. not. I won't get munched. <laughs> I'll never be munched. Ooh, you're getting munched. You're going to get no. munched. Exquisite death. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot. There's there's a lot. But we have a lot. Uh, do I fight this? Probably don't need to bother, right? I'll just munch him. Munch him down. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, now that's a pity. We are actually not in friendly territory. So these jerks, and we can't... Ooh, actually, we can't just get into friendly territory. But only... Ooh, actually, maybe not. Ooh. I mean, he can attack this, obviously. But I think he... No, he didn't, he didn't sack it. Well, now I don't know where we go. Uh, should Skuld... Skuld should be upgraded. we got a Pendant of Slanesh. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. I like that. Plus 40 melee attack and 25% speed. All right, yeah, Mentash can have that. It's on brand. Uh, I want to get out of hostile territory. I want replenishment. I want replenishment. And you can't even go into, like, raiding stance or anything easily. There's chaos, which is a bit silly. Uh, what do we want from you? Unflinching soldiers? I do like it when my soldiers aren't flinching. So let's do that. And... More hysterical frenzy. I want the frenzy to be most hysterical. See, so yeah, I need to get out of here. Pain comes so what I'm going to do... I'm going to move here. Alright, we've got big replenishment. I don't think either of these guys can reach us. But if this guy can reach us... Because, like, this is blocked by terrain, right? So he can move all the way over to here. Which it's gonna be it's gonna be close. If he attacks us, we're dead, basically. Basically if he attacks, we're dead. And these aren't close enough. But look, he's gonna get replenishment maybe. Otherwise, this one can march stance, this guy can attack, and then we lose the army. It's it's bad, okay? This isn't a good situation to be in. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. <laughs> I think we're okay. I think. Arcane Conduit, absolutely. And uh, let's get Flaming Sword of Ruin. I, I want more Flaming Sword of Ruin. We have to give everything uh, fire damage. It's going to be really useful against these jerks. But uh, my god, I hope we're okay. Can anyone be upgraded? Don't think so. Ah, oh, imagine losing our Hell Cannons. I would be livid. Uh, these are normal Chaos Trolls, but they're only. They're only five. I can make all these armored. I hadn't realized that. Well, that's good news. And some of these are rank 5 too. A couple of them. Okay, let's get some Chaos Warriors with Hell Scourges. Is that all of them? Yeah, okay, that's all of them. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. How about you lot? These guys are rank 5. Well, two of them are. But again, that's good. You know, that'll do. That'll help. Could get more Forsaken, but I won't. These guys can't get into Chaos Knights yet. You'd be rank 6 to get to Chaos Knights. Rank 3 and 2. Aspiring Champions obviously can't do anything. But okay, we've got some upgrades. Okay, we've got a slightly better army. Uh, Laith. Laith is headed to de-leaf these guys. Oleg, the ever-chosen, is, is in town. Oh my god, do I come over here and fight them first? Oh my god, it's Ochness. <laughs> oh, I really love how they made Albion. It's just all dumb, like, 
the bleak moor. Is that supposed to be Blackpool? I don't know. Probably not. But yeah, um, so much of this is just silly um, puns of Britain. Like the Giant's Causeway just straight up exists. Uh, Sherwield Forest, Sherwood Forest. You know, Ochness is Loch Ness. Not sure about the Citadel of Lead and Lost Rickson's Landing, but um, I think this could be in reference to um, uh, uh, you know the Viking landings. And lonely open. Not entirely sure what that referencing, but they're all referencing something. At least, you know, most of them are. Oh no, the ever chosen. Clearly, two ships met in combat and brought each other low, their rival crews drowning in battle and hatred. But their loss could be your gain as the sunken ships lean on each other in unstable fashion. Time is short. Salvage must be sought quickly. Um Wax sealed rations to keep the army healthy. More replenishment, presumably. But better armor does sound fun. Because I think we've got pretty good replenishment anyway. As long as we can get it. Uh, so there we go. Heavy iron. Extra 15 armor. 8% weapon strength. And 8 armor piercing weapon strength. Oh boy. Christ. That's terrifying. How many turns? Five. Ten turns! Okay, yeah. This is scary. Our boys are scary. That's 75 damage per hit on a unit of 80. Oh, and how much armor have they got? 172. So, armor, right, um, it, it maxes out at 90%. Um, all, all resistances, right? You know, ward saves, everything. It all maxes out at 90% damage mitigation of whatever type it's designed to stop. Uh, so armor, right, armor piercing damage ignores armor completely, but the rest of the damage is affected by a dice roll. So every time you're hit, you get a value between your armor value and half of your armor value. And that percentage is mitigated from the armor, like the non-armor piercing damage. So basically, if you have armor of 200, then you're basically getting between 100% and 200% mitigation, but capped at 90% total, right? So the closer you are to 200, the more chance that your dice roll is going to be at that cap of 90%, and you're going to, you know, mitigate the maximum amount of damage. So having, like, overkill on armor, you know, having, like, more armor than you could ever possibly need, like, it's still useful because of that dice roll, you know? Um, but basically it means that the minimum percentage of damage mitigation we're getting, the minimum, is half of 172. So, pretty huge. Pretty huge. Uh, for anyone, mate. Oh, it's just it's just really big. Alright, so I can actually reach here. And Grimgore can just run at me. But won't be able to reach. But, um... I won't get a turn of replenishment until I take a settlement. So I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with Grimgore, honestly. But, I mean, this is a good start, right? Like, we're in a good good position. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can recruit, really. So I can't do anything else there. But look, we're on land, okay? We're making a start. Hopefully, Grimgore will run at us on his own, and he won't have another two other stacks, because if that's the case... I don't really know how to survive that. Although, yeah, because Lonely Ogbin is not a... It's not a major settlement. I was thinking, if I attack a major settlement and they attack me, then I'll have the walls of the settlement. Uh, you know, whatever's left of it, at least. But yeah, this is rough. This is not easy. Okay, it's not going to be easy. Uh, we're going to go Unchained Beasts, won't we? We're going all the way to Herald of Doom. Because I want to get missile resistance for trolls, giants, and cockatrice units. Because that's really good. An Unchained Beast also helps our manticores. So yeah, manticores healing in combat. Pardon me. Manticores healing combat. Also really, really good. Especially for this army. That's our manticore army. But I think I think it applies to mounts. But I, I'm not 100% on that. We'll have to check. We'll have to check at some point, but that would be really nice too. Okay, I think we've moved everybody. Uh, Chaos Gifts, we've unlocked new ones. 
So what do we have? Endless March. That's why we're broke, it's the extra upkeep. Hmm. Do I want to get something else? I mean, being able to get a bunch of fiends or something would be really cool. No, we can't actually get them yet. We uh, haven't sacrificed enough. Uh, what about Zinch? Anything new for Zinch? What were we on? This one. Getting screamers of Zinch. Really? I don't remember that that's what we settled on. But yeah, I guess we didn't have many, um, many chances, did we? Many chances? Many options. Uh... Gaze of Fate is very good. Ooh, getting some cockatrice would be cool. Man, I love the, like, random, like, chaos monsters that are in the bestiary. That's some really cool stuff. Like, the cockatrice, I think, is really, really cool. Um, I don't think we're gonna be looking there. Yeah, we can't, we can't build anything major enough for my liking. Now, I do wonder... Uh, Yildegard... Doesn't need any upgrades. Yeah, okay. I just More enemies coming. I mean, like, Roberto is headed over here to try and help deal with these guys. I'm amazed so that these guys are still in the fight. Because, yeah, they are at war with the orcs. I'm amazed Rambo is, is holding out here. He's not going to hold uh, against us, though. So, you know, there is that. Alright, moving on. Okay, sacrifice of Mathlan has been performed. Uh, Asavar just got some experience for no reason. Thanks, I guess. Grandfather Nurgle has taken an interest in your exploit. He's been generous with his blessings. But Asavar? Hang on. Wait. That's Asavar. He's a Slanesh boy. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. God, there's a lot going on. Um, I think we need to hop over here. Get some replenishment. Because we're going to have to pick our targets cleverly here. Maybe we could just hold out in Shkjord? We could hold out in Shkjord. I go where Slanesh commands. You have my faith. You know, Shkjold. Alright, we can bring him over here, no problem. Uh, I mean, Leif, are you just gonna run right into him? Maybe. Maybe. God, that replenishment is very good. So that's good news. Uh, Grimgor has decided to run over here. We can move faster than anyone ever. He had to march stance to get there. Uh, Huglug, I don't think could attack Lostrix Landing. And he certainly couldn't reach. So the fact that we can move so far makes me think maybe we just take Lostrix Landing. And then they'll have to like run back. It'll give us a turn of replenishment after taking Lostrix Landing. But that doesn't really have anything. So I think actually attacking Lostrix Landing might be... There might be something in Conquata though. If there's any enemies here that attack us, then all of this stuff can join the fight. So maybe we just kill Grimgore. You know, Grimgore and all of this stuff in the city. Oh, no. All, all of this stuff in Lonely Ogburn, which is actually quite a big garrison. And all of his Wami. Ooh, although, you know, like what a forest goblin spider rider is going to do, you know? And what's in his Wami? Probably mostly goblins. Maybe he's got a couple of black hooks in there. And uh, Lonely Ogburn has, uh, yeah, Biggins are the biggest problem there. But we have half an army because of the amount of attrition we've taken. So do I risk it, attack that, and then end up fighting twice as much stuff? Well, like three times as much stuff. Probably not a great... Probably not a great answer to that, is it? Really? Oh boy. Oh boy. He's tired, so that's going to help. I mean, Pyrrhic victory is what it reckons. So that's pretty good. Alright. Ooh, three Black Orcs. Three Black Orcs in, um, in the army. Alright, magic can crack them. Yeah, this is busy. 
This is busy. <laughs> that should be fun. <laughs> Real fun. <laughs> Look, we'll just kill Grimgore. We'll have a good time, right? Although Grimgore is an absolute beast. Like, unbelievable beast. But still, I reckon we can probably kill him with our heroes, right? Like, quite happily, you know? To surround him in Chosen. I mean, 98 melee attack is pretty insane. So he is going to hit our Chosen pretty hard. Yeah, I think we're going to have to goon him. You know, we're just going to have to gank him with everybody. Alright, let's do it. So what I really enjoy here is that Oleg has defeated Grimgore so many times. Really? The reinforcements are coming behind us? Okay, that seems a bit silly. Doesn't it? It's a bit daft. But okay, sure. Alright. <laughs> okay, game. This is how you want to play? I'll play. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Oleg has defeated um, uh, uh, Grimgore so many times. So many. But it was always in an ambush. You know, it was always all in a siege. I think there's a couple sieges as well. But Oleg would always fight off Grimgore when Grimgore would fail to attack. And it took falling to chaos for Oleg to take the fight to Grimgore. Now Grimgore is actively being hunted by Oleg, who wants to finish what he started. Which I think is great, but also it does kind of make Grimgore sound fairly badass to be such a uh, persistent um, sort of menace in, in Oleg's story, you know. Oleg, who is just the greatest, greatest warrior ever. Alright. Something like that, I imagine. Uh, and then you guys... Sit tight over there. And we're gonna have to just receive this, you know. But uh, we do have things like Infernal Gateway. Which we can use in six seconds time. Let's hit those goblin arches. Alright, Grimgore's right there. We can make him watch as we, like, rip his army a new one. Ooh, these black orcs are gonna be a bit of a problem, aren't they? Alright, let's get you lot in there too. Let's just get them all in. Alright, what else can I do? Uh, could get them to run away. Maybe once we get rid of these, more will come out. We'll be doing it for a while. Yeah, we're going to be doing this for a while. Yep, here's more. Orc boys next. We've got five of us. It's annoying, that. Alright, I got rid of them. How many kills did they get? Seven. All right, more on the way. Uh, yeah, I still never used this, ever. Oh, he just sort of bursts. Oh, that's nice. We still got our shields up. All right, we're like right up against the wall here, but that's okay. Hit these goblin archers again. Okay, we dealt with them. Scout chosen in, I guess. <laughs> Just press up against the wall. Alright, the hammer. Alright, do I want to do this? I think I do. I think I do. So, yeah, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> it's still going. All right, that went well. That's not a bad way to break our enemies. 
I mean, there's going to be a whole stack here. I know this is incredibly cheap, like what I probably should have done. I usually like to fight where I land. I probably should have just deployed over here so they could get their reinforcements in while I push into their settlement. But, like, this is tiring our army out, so... You know, it's not all... It's not all golden for us. And we are taking... We are losing some troops here, I feel like. Allied troop count. Well, it's going to say it's down, isn't it? Because we started with them. Um, we started with casualties. Yeah, that should break them all. And yeah, here's more. Oh, it's gone off the map. Oh, they're nearly gone again. Alright, is that all of them yet? Hang on. Poor boys, these are all terrified. Oh, they're still they're off the map, technically. Okay, I think we have defeated all of them. Okay, good. I think we defeated the dummies. Alright, now you lot. Deploy over here. We have all of our knights. I mean, they're all in group one. Uh, chase them down. The trolls and spawn and champions. I guess you can all go that way. You guys can all go for that. And all our heroes and head over here too. I don't know where Grimgore went. He ran off into the back. Like way into the back. Oh no. And the halberds can run in too, I guess. And yeah, we'll just ignore these like random random guys if we can. <laughs> we got another one of these. That I can use on Oh, I don't know, maybe we'll use them on any. But, start hitting these guys. Get some portal glyphs out. Dude, what are you doing? I, I guess I guess go around the other way. I don't know. These goblin archers are very unusual. Uh, kooky boys. Kooky boys. Alright, you guys are all heading up in there. Uh, they do have artillery coming in here. So actually, what I want to do is get them back there. Okay, good. You guys keep moving. You're supposed to be running in, boys. Okay, we need to get a spellcaster up in here. Alright, that's what we need. Need my spellcaster up in the air. Good, good. Let's get over here. We can drop something on these guys. You know, like it's hot. Okay, you know what? You go for them too. Screw it. Alright, Infernal Gateway. That ought to do some work. Okay, good. Now let's use Treason of Teench to hit all their leadership. Those big ones. They're just all boys. So we've got some problems here, though. Alright, how about a gawk? Let's go. And yeah, these guys having a bad day. Bad old day. Okay, let's hit them too. You guys having a good time? Uh, ooh, hello. <laughs> You're in a bit of a bind. Oh, I can't help you out with them. Did we just lose someone? Yeah, yeah, Porticliff. Porticliff. That's scary. But I can now bring the rest of our cavalry in. So let's do that. And you guys are doing just fine. Now, let's run over here. I really need to back them up. Um. Let's attack them. Alright, how are you not doing? Well, you're still in a bit of a bind. And this is obviously very silly. Uh, what I'm going to do is this. 
Come on, you guys having fun? I'm not sure exploding is a good idea. It's not going to hit my own guys, is it? Nah, we're fine. Okay, still holding out over here. Uh, what is happening here? Okay, that's weird. Okay, let's hit these guys some more. Okay, it looks like we've got rid of these guys. Yeah, it looks like these guys have managed to hold out. Okay, that's all good. Alright, we're taking this over. I'm amazed we're still fighting in this this group, though. And how are you doing? Really? Yeah, feel bad for our, our exalted hero, though. He was really on his own. I know you lot. Let's charge you up that way. Uh, you guys, I need you to hold this. You charge into the rear over here. You can get stuck in that way. Um, I mean, come on, guys. So many of our troops here are just completely, like, idle. Because they keep getting distracted. If we had all these chosen in this fight proper, we would be laughing. Okay. They have a big old hero in here. Can't have that. Can't have that. Oh, here we are. Yeah, fighting uh, Grimgore is going to be a lot tougher than I was hoping, I think. Okay, right, let's hit these guys with another purple sun. Okay, we're through. It's chosen time. Alright, so we killed 386 guys, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, you need to get out of the way. And you. Let's bring you guys over here. Grimgore is trying to fight our cavalry now. So let's try and stop that. A lot of our cavalry is suffering, in fact. Uh, what's next? Okay, yeah, you guys are doing pretty well. Very well. Well, well. Okay. I would like to great. I would like to done really well. All right, let's try and fight this joke. I know it's hella risky. <gasps> oh no, he's fine. I was like, my spellcaster's dead. He's not. He's fine. Oh, we've always got him. Yeah, that back. Black or big boss doesn't have a chance. Nice. Yeah, he's done. Uh, you know what? I think I think this is the plan. <laughs> I guess you can kill those trolls. We never did capture this this area, which I, I thought we had. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, our enemies are very angry. He's unbreakable, though. He's unbreakable. I think even if he's unbreakable, if we take that middle point, I think they do still lose their um, thingamajig. Another big black or big boss. <laughs> Clean magic from him. Doesn't do anything. Night goblins. Eh, they're still unbreakable. Let's get Harry down here. Let's get Harry down here. Okay, let's get you up here too. Alright, you guys having fun? Okay. Get our heroes in. So he's still popping. He's a popping off. Wow, I only 23 of those halberds left. Ooh, boy. One hit and we lose Ograx. But... I'm willing to do it, frankly. Right, let's get Harry in first. Right, how are you still low? Come on, let's get Harry in. Okay, now you. And you. And you. Okay, 
Ooh, oh, like just lost his his shield. Ooh, good, you're in such a bad spot. Okay, getting some great hits in there. Let's buff up our boys. Come on, Oleg. Mess him up. Also, I mean, you do things too, I guess. You're very confused, clearly. <laughs> oh my god, don't die, Prince Ograx. Alright, everyone else is fine, you know. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing any of them taking, like, substantial damage here. And he's gonna explode, so like him. Oh, he's got 2,000 health left. Alright, we've got no magic left. No, can shoot fireball at him. Oh, let's get a fireball. Nice. There he goes. Harry the hammer. The final blow. That's right. We did a war hammer. Epic victory. That guy's terrific. We didn't lose anyone. We didn't lose anyone, even though these knights definitely tried to get themselves killed, and uh, so did our exalted hero. But we took him out. We took him out. Uh, and they did get wiped out too. Man, like, they actually didn't take that much damage. That's what happens when they fight right on the edge of the map. I mean, look at those goblins, barely a scratch on them. Anyway, uh, loads of cash, loads of souls. Uh, we can gift it to a vassal. Yeah, I suppose we will, won't we? Uh, to the Lostriklings. Are they a new vassal, or do we already have some Lostris... Lostris... Lostriklings. Lostrisklings? Lostrisklings? Lostriklings. Just Lostriklings. And we've used Grimgore, which means we're doing even more damage now, which is pretty good. Not actually that huge, we don't have the biggest damage. But we do when you use, like, Slayer of Kings and stuff, it adds up a lot. But this is really nice to get. Uh, this hide is perhaps not as durable as it originally thought. Uh, yep. Fighting Greenskins, Orcsbane. Finally! Finally! He's... he's... <laughs> he's now Oleg Groby Nuttered again. Talisman of Preservation, lovely. Alright, good. Do we have a better item yet? No, not really. Not really. Let's level him up, though. Um, devastating charge. And Prince Ograx can get, I don't know, be indomitable, I suppose. Moxia, I mean, Mentor, could be nice, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, Pink Fire it's each. And for Harold. Let's get him training. Let's just max out training. And these guys can become chosen with Halberds. Finally, have a full chosen army. Amazing. Uh, yes. Though I do need to get rid of these guys. Swap map something more interesting. Do I just get some marauders to like just be in the army, so I can I can rec you know recruit them up? I mean, I do have like other demon things, right? I could get a cockatrice in the army. That would be pretty cool. Something to go um, hang out with uh, with Prince Ograx. He does a petrifying gaze, which is very nice. Slowing enemies down. Um, yeah, he's got his ward save, he's got some missile resist. I mean, that's quite good. But then I also have flamers at Zinch. A couple of flamers in this army could be interesting, but also, like, a bit annoying, because might block line of sight a bunch. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I might just go with more Marauders, you know. I can level them up, turn them into more Knights. Or maybe more Chosen, like one or the other. So I think we get rid of these guys. And, uh, yeah, just, <laughs> just a couple of Marauders, apparently. Cool. That'll level up pretty quickly. Given the, uh, the things we're fighting. But yeah, really good replenishment. So we'll be, we'll be sorting these guys out. 
pretty quickly. Probably attack uh, Lostrix Landing next turn. Uh, Citadel of Lead is the capital, of course, so I'll take that over for myself. But yeah, giving some ground to our Norsken chums first sounds good. Now, let's get you over here. You follow, and you keep tracking the army that you're supposed to be in. You'll get there eventually. You know, eventually they'll be held up by something. Kind of. I mean, it, it's even worse for him, because he's following um, one of the armies that'll actually be doing the attacking. The other one's just going to be, like, walking behind, um, so won't suffer from any, like, movement penalties as a result of being in a fight, right? You know, and being, like, in a siege battle or whatever. Um, and our other army that is actually doing the attacking, they get bonus movement after fights, so nothing's really going to slow down even when we are attacking, like, enemy settlements. So that's pretty funny. It's going to take so long to catch up. Uh, okay, now you can head over here. Start fighting, I don't know, some dwarves. We're really trying to get into Kislev. There are still some Kislev factions in here. Kislev is massive, so I'm pretty sure, although Prague is full of Kemri right now, which is interesting, uh, I'm pretty sure Zarina Catherine is still down here somewhere. I think. I imagine. I hope she is. Because I do actually want to fight her. Uh, we got to get rid of these guys, too. And all of these elves. Ugh, Christ. This campaign's going to go on forever, I swear. Uh, yeah, there's loads of elves on their way. Just across all of Norska. It's actually kind of amazing. I mean, look at this. Look at all of these elven stacks, just... All spread out along the Norsecan coast. It's really cool. Really cool indeed. Oh, in fact, some of these came from Laurelorn. I think some of them actually came from Bretonia. I think Bretonia might have fallen to the... to the elf tide. Potentially. Because these are, these are Torgavan. So they're actually from Athelorin. Athel they're from down here. Right? They normally would be somewhere in here. Oh, there's Torgavan from Vol's Anvil. So they've travelled quite a long way. They just made a beeline straight for us, huh? Man, that's really cool. I really like that. That's very fun. Alright, well anyway, we're going to end the episode here. We are over time. But hey, we defeated Grimgore. How great is that? Oleg, back to his old tricks. So guys, if you've enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Creature can challenge me!